Hey guys, welcome back to another video here. Uh, today's video is on uh, clutch install. This is a self bend dual disc. Not sure what the model is, but uh, 650 horse plus, I think. So, this is the clutch here. These are some of the tools you need torque wrench, hardware, barring tool, 516 torque bit. And 19 mil impact socket. That's pretty much all you need. Sucker's heavy as a motherfucker, so if you have two people to help you lift the flywheel, it'd be probably be your best bet, but it's just me today, so I'll give it a shot. Alright, guys, got her all cleaned up here. If you got compressed air, just blow all the dust and all that shit out of it, so. It goes in clean, get some brake clean and just wipe everything down. Forgot to mention that this is going into my uh, 2000 24 valve P-Pump truck. Uh, it's a six speed NV5600, so this is the clutch for it. All right guys, we're underneath the truck here. Uh, now's a good time to do a uh, rear main seal if yours is leaking. I would highly suggest doing that so you don't have to take all this shit apart again. Well, a little trick for getting the flywheel in. I don't know, get a little dowel or something that you can screw into one of the holes. Not all the way in, just something that you can rest it on while you're trying to wrestle the damn thing on there and then get a bolt in or a couple bolts and you're good to go then. So let's try and get the heavy beast on here now okay got it up easy once you have that dowel thing in there it's a hell of a lot easier to do than trying to wrestle with a bolt so highly recommend that what i usually do when putting these in is there's a red mark that you have to line everything up with i just usually put it down to the bottom makes everything easier so you remember to line it all up so uh Let's get these bolts on here. I, I'm going to use some red Loctite. You don't have to, but just in case, so it won't come out. Okay, I got them all on there. Now it's time to torque it in. Now is a good time to put your barring tool in there because you'll never be able to torque it because the engine will spin. So just going to torque them all down and go along with the rest of the clutch install. It's quite simple. You just follow the Put all the red marks all the line up and torque them down to whatever specs they're supposed to be torqued down to so uh yep okay these clutches come with uh rating on there that says flywheel side so obviously that goes flywheel side same with the pressure plate side it'll tell you where to go uh your kit will should come with one of those little uh alignment tools so definitely use it and it'll come with these plastic little buttons that fit in between here that go on the floater plate so make sure you get those and if you're buying a used clutch buy some new ones because they're 99% of the time they're broken so get some new ones all right guys got her all torqued down make sure you take this alignment tool out before you try to put the transmission in Otherwise, you're going to have a hell of a time. So if you uh, like the video, hit subscribe. Uh, hit the like button. It helps the channel grow. It's not that big of a channel just yet. Hopefully, i got a lot more stuff going on with this truck. Stay tuned for more. Take care.